Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna start off by introducing myself. My name is Hrissi. That's the right way of saying my name, but um, people in England call me Harissi because it's pretty hard to put the H and R together. This is what I'm gonna be filming today. I just filmed this look. It's basically what I do every day. Well, not every day, but when I wear makeup, it's my go-to look. What my channel is gonna be focused on is probably beauty, mostly. But I do wanna get a couple different things in there. I wanna throw in some vlogs in there. You know, I do kinda of interesting stuff sometimes. I've got lots of ideas and I've got lots of ideas because I've been waiting a long time to do this, to start this and I'm finally doing it. I've always wanted to do it, I've just been shook, like, I don't know why. But anyway, I'm not going to be a pussy anymore so I'm going to fucking post this video. Like literally all my friends are like, when are you going to post a video? You're just chatting shit, like you're not going to post one. Bitch, here it is. Okay, so I already moisturised my face. What I used was, look at how this is so, I've used it so much, I don't know if you can see. But yeah, um, this is the Weledar Iris Moisturising Cream. I also use an eye cream and this is the one I used. It's the Cause Black Pine anti wrinkle Firming Eye Cream. I'm starting off with the Benefit Professional Primer. I'm going to put some of this on my nose, just because that's where I get quite oily. And this mats it down. Mats it down, it makes it matte. Okay, so next up I'm gonna color correct. I'm using this palette here by NYX. And I'm just gonna use this salmon color here. I mean, it's obvious I'm gonna be using that color. Look at it, I've almost used all of it. And I'm just gonna put this under my eyes where I've got dark circles. This colour correcting really makes a big difference for me now. Honestly, I don't know if you can tell, but this, this shit right here, this shit right here, it's banging. Oh! I'm taking that green shade and I'm going to put it where I've got any redness. So, around my nose. I mean, to be honest, I should put it all over my nose because my nose is so red. You just can't win in life sometimes, you know? Next, I'm taking MAC Stro Cream and I'm just going to put this on my cheekbones and under my brow bone. For foundation, I'm grabbing my Nasha Glow. Um, I'm in the colour Punjab. I'm just going to pump some at the back of my hand and I'm just going to dot this on my nose. Oh shit, that's way too much. It's fine, we're going with it. So the reason I did that is because I actually like to mix some oil into my foundation but I don't want to put any oil on my nose so that's why I put just the foundation on my nose and now I'm going to mix it in with some oil. It's this one here, the Elizabeth Arden All Over Miracle Oil. That's like my favourite oil ever, you can put it in your hair, on your face, it's great. And I'm just taking this foundation brush by Morphe, mixing all of that in the back of my hand. I'm just going to put it on my face. I'm also putting that on my neck because this shade is slightly dark for me. By the way, the foundation brush that I'm using is from this makeup brush set by Morphe. I think it's the Vegan Pro brush set. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. To blend that foundation in, I'm just taking my Beauty Blender and bouncing it all over my face. Don't worry, I'm going to bronze up this little. <laughs> Next, I'm going to conceal and I'm just taking my Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. There's like nothing left. I'm really forcing it right now. So I'm just dotting this concealer where I've got dark circles. And I'm also going to take it on the sides of my nose just to make my nose look a bit narrower. I'm also putting this on my Cupid's bow chin under my cheekbone and this is just gonna make my contour stand out so i'm just grabbing this concealer here it's the naked skin concealer by urban decay i'm in the color light wall i hate look when i pull it out Mm. Did you see that? Like some concealer flew out and it landed on my thigh. Imagine if I was wearing like a white skirt. What? 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 I would have had concealer on it. I'm also taking this down the bridge of my nose. Oh! I made that so crooked. Oh, fuck. 
I'm just gonna blend all of that out with my beauty blender. Next, I'm just gonna set that concealer. I'm taking this brush from the same Morphe brush palette. And I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm not gonna bake under my eyes just because I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got quite dry eyes, so um, it just doesn't look good. I'm just gonna blend away the creases and then set it. Next, I'm just gonna bake the size of my nose. So I'm just gonna set the rest of my under eye now. I'm gonna avoid this area here where I'm gonna highlight because I'm gonna be using a cream highlight and you just can't put cream highlights on top of powders or any types of creams to be honest because it just looks really bad. It starts separating. Okay, next I'm gonna do my favorite bit which is highlighting. I'm pretty sure this is like everyone's favorite bit. Like who doesn't like highlighting? I love it. What I'm gonna be using for highlight is this one here. It's by Topshop and it's the Glow Pop. They look like this and it's in the color Gleam. I've been using this for about three years now and I, I love it, I'm obsessed. When you're applying a cream highlight, don't put it on powder and make sure you tap it into the skin. Don't rub it in. Look at that. So I'm just gonna blend that highlight out or in. I'm gonna put a bit of that highlight on my cupid's bow. I want it to be glowy, so glowy, oh so glowy. That has so much shit. I'm gonna have to edit so much out of this video. You guys don't even understand. Next I'm gonna contour and I'm taking my Hula Bronzer by Benefit, taking the brush that it comes with, and I'm just gonna chisel out my cheekbones. Taking this Big fluffy brush by Morphe from that same brush set. And my Bahama Mama bronzer. And I'm just gonna bronze up my face and blend that contour out. When I'm doing my contour bronzer or whatever, I just have to pull my hair back. Otherwise I feel like I just can't get the same perfection. Ooh, show me of shoulder, cheeky. Just gonna clean that contour up with my translucent powder. So now I'm just gonna wipe that bake off. So to finish off the face, I'm just gonna do a tiny bit more highlighting. I'm grabbing this fan brush by Ori Flame and my Mary Luminizer by the Balm. Just gonna highlight right here above my eyebrow. Eyebrow, I was, it's like I, was, I wasn't sure if it's my eyebrow. I'm also just gonna highlight the bridge of my nose. You know what's so funny, when I'm highlighting my nose, I'm not actually moving my hand, I'm moving my face. Like, <laughs> if you go overboard with that nose highlight, just go over it with your powder brush. Okay, so that's it for the face. Next, I'm gonna do my eyebrows, but I'm gonna do them off camera, just because it takes me way too long. And I So I just finished doing my eyebrows. I prime my eyelids with my concealer, and then I set it with my um, translucent powder. I'm gonna move on to the eyes and I'm just gonna do what I've been doing recently. Like this is just my go-to look. And I'm just gonna be using this palette here, which is the Modern Renaissance palette by, by ABH. This is like my favorite. Look at it, it's just, ah! I'm just grabbing this color here, Burnt Orange. Going in with this brush, just in my crease. Okay, so after I've blended that into my crease, I'm gonna go in with this color here, the deep orange, it's called Real Girl. Real Girl. I'm just grabbing this smaller crease blending brush. Focus this on the outer corners, and I'm just gonna dab the product where I want it first. Oh, look at that pigment, bitch. Okay, so I've got my two little dots and I'm gonna blend that in. And I'm not taking that too high up. That previous color that we put, that should be the highest color. Um, and this is just on the outer corner and on the crease. I'm going back in with that brush I was using before for the lighter color. I'm just gonna blend everything together. I'm taking this 
fluffy brush by H&M. Back in with that Real Girl color. Get it from the outer corner and sweep it into the lid. And because I'm not using a dense brush, we're just going to get a light coating of that. And this look is not hard at all. It's just a matter of blending and just practicing your blending. I've lost a bit of that intensity on the outer corner, so I'm just going to deepen it up a bit more. Okay, so next I'm just taking this colour here, Tempara. So I'm just putting it in my inner corner and up here. I'm just going to slightly carve that. Out. Nothing too carbison. <laughs> this brush that I'm using, by the way, is from my Sleek Brow Kit. Now I'm going back in with that H&M brush and I'm just going to blend that nude with that darker orange. Next, I'm taking this colour here, Love Letter, and I'm just going to put that on my bottom lash line. Okay, so now I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes and put some mascara on them. I'm not like, really panicking right now because the battery on my camera is about to fucking die. Um, but I'm using this mascara here. It's by 17, it's called Dolled Up. Yeah, this is great. I've been using it for years. And I'm never gonna let go because I haven't found anything better. Nothing holds my curl like this. Bitch, I sleep with makeup on, I wake up and my eyelashes are still flawless because of this mascara. Bang it, just go get it. Okay, so I just put my mascara on. I did my lips as well off camera because I'm worried my camera's gonna die. I used the Rimmel Cappuccino Lip Liner and the NYX Lip Lingerie in the color Push Up. Lastly, I'm just gonna take this glitter. It's like a silver little... Well, actually, it's not glitter. It's like loose pigment. And I'm just gonna dab that in the inner corner of my eyes. I'm gonna clean it up a bit so that it's not all over the gaff. Lastly, I'm taking my MAC Fix Plus and I'm just gonna set my face. So this is the final look, guys. I hope you like it. It's just what I've been wearing kind of on a daily basis, day-to-day -day basis. I just want you guys to see how I've done this whole camera setup. It's just so nuts. Like there's literally five shoe boxes on a chair and then the camera's right there it's been a struggle i'm not gonna lie so yeah like comment share subscribe all of that good stuff obviously don't be a hater if you're a hater ugh, fuck off show some love it's my first youtube vid and yeah peace out peace out peace out elizabeth arden eight hour blah 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 can get it right. Okay. <laughs> Back to blending. That's. Oh, I got it. I got it. God damn. Okay. So, oh my god. Two bars left. <gasps> You're taking the piss. Maybe I should zoom you in. Oh, let's zoom in out. <gasps> That's close. Too close to comfort. <gasps> oh my god, I dropped that pigment all on the floor. Oh my god, no! Fuck my life. My mum's gonna kill me. I'm filming in the living room. Oh my god, fucking stop this video.